Your eighth grade son got into his first fight at school. How concerned should you be? Well, let's talk about that today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families to live happier lives. I lead two organizations, Teen Therapy Center and the nonprofit 501c3 organization, Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California. Every Wednesday at noon, I jump onto Facebook Live to answer your parenting questions. Let's answer today's. My son is only two weeks into eighth grade and he already got into a fight at school. He's never actually gotten into a physical fight before, so I was really surprised. He and the other boy got suspended and thankfully, that's all. Is there anything I can do to make sure this doesn't happen again? Uh, thank you for your question. And I'm not sure if there's anything you can do to ensure it won't happen again, but I think there's a few things we need to talk about. Number one, how is your son feeling? Is he emotionally okay? You may be surprised that he's fine. Again, I'm painting with a very broad brush here, but sometimes when boys can fight, in, when they get into a fight, once the fight's over, they're kind of over it. They're kind of done. It's happened. They've moved past it. Not all the time. That's why you want to assess and ensure that your son is emotionally okay. You know, was he bullied? That's something you need to address. And if he is, he was addressed, if bullied, address that with the school, keep the school informed and involved in that. Um, was it just a miscommunication, joking around that went too far and went into a fight? Okay, and let's talk about that. Um, and it's important to talk about how to de-escalate fights, how to walk away from fights. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. Um, I'm not trying to condone violence, but sometimes you just have to defend yourself or else just, you're just going to get hit. You know, was this, is this thing that's going to linger? Does the other kid have a beef with him? Um, does your son have a problem not backing down? Does your son instigate? You know, all these things need to be addressed and understood. If this becomes a pattern, then yeah, I think we really need to dive in a little deeper. Does he need therapy for some anger management issues? Um, is it something deeper going on? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered. And you're the person who needs to explore all this with him. And I think you can. Um, the one thing about this that I think is really important is that, again, make sure this is not a pattern of angry outbursts. Is he lashing out? Is he drawing attention to himself in, and looking for fights? If it is, you probably want to get him to talk to someone because this is only going to end badly. Either he's going to get up, beat up really bad, or he's going to beat up someone else really bad, and then legal you know, law gets involved, and you don't want that. Um, so there's a lot of unknowns with this. But I, again, it's really important. The context of this fight is really important. This may just be a one-off, and hey, you know, 13-year-old boys get in fights sometimes. It's not the end of the world. I'm, we're assuming he didn't get any real significant injuries, and this other boy didn't either. They both got suspended. The school kind of stepped in. Uh, but again, connect with your son. Assess what his emotional needs are and address those. Anyways, that's our big question for today. If you have questions like this you'd like me to answer here on Tips on Teens, email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com or you can direct message us right here on Facebook. Also, you can join our Facebook group, Tips on Teens, and you'll always make sure you get these questions in your feed and get little tips and teens and kids and stuff. My name is Kent Toussaint with Teen Therapy Center and Child and Teen Counseling. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday at noon on Facebook Live. Bye-bye.